I'd like to tell a story about Japanese soldiers in a cave. I spent a month in Guam, actually on Guam. You say That's on Guam. Is this when you were driving the Wienermobile? Yeah. It is a, exactly what it sounds like. It is a hot dog shaped car. Correct. And I took it on a tour of Guam in 2001. <laughs> anyway, you can tour these falls on the island of Guam. And in one of these falls, which is sort of national parky, it's not quite a national park. Yeah. They have a cave that's marked and it is, I forget the guy's name, but it was a Japanese guy's cave. And when World War II broke out, he went into hiding into this cave and did not come out for 27 years. I oh, so this is one of those stories of he didn't realize the war had ended because any assumed the Japanese would never surrender? Yeah. So he didn't know about the atomic bombs and all that? Correct. But you also just, you lose all concept of time and self or whatever, but you... you Apparently, 27 years. Jesus yeah. Christ. But you still have the survival instinct in you, I guess. Yeah. But of all the things that occur in human life, those things consistently really, really shock me. That the human mind and body can endure that. That isolation? Yeah. Yeah.